News now from Tamil Nadu and Chennai is receiving incessant heavy rainfall today amid an alert. Schools and colleges have been shut in at least 20 districts including Chennai, Tiruvallur and the Tirunavalli uh, districts. Puducherry as well is receiving heavy rainfall. Schools and colleges have been shut there as well uh, for two days. Outside Chennai, many low-lying pockets are inundated with lakes overflowing. Let's go across to Sam Daniel now who joins us from Narayanapuram. Uh, it's an area that has been flooded and Sam, there's no electricity there as well. Uh, take us through the latest. That's right, Gargi. We come to you from this uh, Chettinar enclave in Narayanapuram in Chennai outside the city. In fact, a lake called Anayeri is filled to its capacity. It's overflowing and that's why the entire neighborhood, around close to 200 houses, have been surrounded by water. In fact, water has entered many homes. All the stretches are completely inundated as water continues to flow from the lake here. In fact, over the last at least three days, the residents here don't have power supply and the Chennai police teams are here to help people to go out to rescue them in case and to also get them their essential supplies. And with me, a group of residents here, let's speak to them to get a sense of what they go through. If I can start with you, uh, briefly explain to us the kind of hardship you go through now. Like you're seeing, you're witnessing what we are uh, encountering. You put it correctly, it's... Uh, uh, successively fourth day that we are marooned and we are completely inundated our basic livelihood is threatened threatened not just because of the water inundation because of the reptiles that are creeping in and we are also running the risk of no electricity right. which means that one day our over a tank have completely drained so also our battery and uh, what it means that when we flush after urinating or after completing our daily chores, there is nothing right. and it's stinking. The entire right. house is stinking. We need right. an immediate resolution for this. What's the kind of solution you have in mind? In fact, these were earlier waterways for the overflow from the lakes. What do you think would be a long-term solution? Government has to come up with like you know some other way of uh, uh, taking the water outside. Um, this is, mic, yeah. yeah, this is not the. Uh, you know, this is a residential community and a lot of uh, uh, houses are owned by uh, or actually a uh, lot elderly. of older elderly people live here and in case of emergency we can't go out and our, like you know because we don't have power for the fourth day our phones are not yet charged and my phone has already died so you know we, uh, during emergency our older people cannot call anybody and that's and a many big... have shifted is it? Yes, many have shifted and also kids are finding it very difficult to attend their board exams. They are not able to prepare for their exams actually without any electricity and power. Yeah. Right, right. You were asking for solution. Permanent solution is number one, that Anayeri is Kalangal, which is very, very low. That Kalangal was decided, the height of the Kalangal was decided in pre-independence time. Now that has to be raised, right. the road level has raised. That has to be raised right. and Narayanapuram Rake, the one that is receiving the water, has to be desilted and it has to be deepened on a war footing basis. Right. And do you think in the first place, construction should not have come up in these areas, although it was built 20 years ago? No, no, um, no, actually, no most of the lands here are all patta lands. Are. Okay. So there is a full-fledged residential uh, um, people who are living... If you just go down south, there are a lot of uh, construction. These are approved layouts. These are approved These are layouts. Approved. They are very much approved layouts. Sir. So, it's primarily a residential place only. Uh, moreover, in the year 2015, it was not so badly affected. Right. So, it was perfectly alright at that point of time. Now, this has been developed due to the encroachment somewhere. And, you know, the water started flowing this side. Right. So, basically, now, if you see, we have a serious problem. The groundwater is completely spoiled, right. contaminated. Right. So, the sewage water got mixed in that. Right. So, we are actually suffering and we want an immediate solution for the water to get away right. and the electricity to be on. Right. So have, have, you, have you spoken to authorities? We have. We have we, already. Yeah. We are dating. What do they say? In, in fact, fact even have visited... The minister also visited. They are working on long-term permanent solution. But what we need right now is restoration of power, which is immediate requirement. I want the EB right. authorities to come here right, right now, right. inspect the situation and restore power. Right. Or else, at least provide us genset backup. Right. That is our immediate It's requirement. a nightmare for residents. Lastly, if we can speak to the police here, what kind of help you render? Are you helping people to get the essential supplies? Sir, we have a 
தண்ணீர் உணவுப் பொருள் எல்லாம் யாரெல்லாம் ஃபோன் பண்ணி கேட்குறாங்களோ அவங்களுக்கெல்லாம் நாங்கள் கொடுத்துக்கிட்டு தான் இருக்கோம் நாங்கள் வந்து சென்னை சிட்டி போலீஸ் கமிஷனர் அண்டரில் நாங்கள் ஸ்பெஷல் ஆக்ஷன் குரூப் கமோடோ டீம்ஸ் இந்த ஒர்க்கை சிட்டியில் எல்லா இடத்துலையும் நாங்கள் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு He says that they are providing or helping the residents with all the essential supplies including food, drinking water, whatever they require. But for these residents, as the Met still forecasts heavy rainfall gagi, it's nightmare. What they require is urgent intervention by authorities to make sure the water is pumped first and the electricity supply is restored. All right, uh, Sam, thanks so much for joining us with that and an absolute nightmare for the residents living in those areas and as it continues to rain today as well.